Namaste and welcome to day 18 of 30 days of AppRight. We are learning AppRight database and this is the final episode on AppRight database. Up until now, we have introduced AppRight database and its features. Then we created a collection using Darts, Dart SDK and then we used that collection to save the data of our user and display those data. Finally, today we are going to look into some other features of list document. So while listing the document, as you can see here, it accepts few other parameters like filters, limit, offset, order field, order type, order cast, etc. Today we'll learn about these features and we'll see how this makes it handy to query our database and get the result that we want. First, we'll look into limit and offset. As you can see, the default value of limit is 25 and offset is 0. If you are familiar with relational databases, this is exactly the same as limit and offset in the SQL statement. Right now, we have quite a few documents here, I guess more than 10. So let me try to limit this into 10 so that limit 10 save let's go back see it was 3900 ml before right now it's only 2300 because the response is limited so we are only seeing the 10 documents we could also set offset let's set offset 2 or let's set offset 5 save if we go back we have different result and here we'll have a different set of data using the limit and offset we can easily paginate our data not only this the response object that we get from the list documents also contains the total number of documents in the collection so if we print out print data sum then this will be the count of total number of documents in the database if i now save it and see we see now 16 is printed i can just add a message here total save so we can see we have total of 16 documents in our collection. If I add more, I should get different value. So right now it has 19. But if I go here, I'll only get 10 because I have limited the results by 10. Using this limit offset and total sum, we can easily paginate our data and display data effectively to our users not overloading the server as well as the user's device if we remove this it should load all the data because default limit is 25 and we have only 19 so if we go back we now have 4200 and we can see all the records next important parameter is the filter right now we are not filtering the data that we get from our server that is we are not filtering our documents even though we are calculating for this particular date if we add data for another date that will also be loaded and calculated so let us just add few data of another date so while adding the data i will just create a random date so plus random next int max let's say 5 so here dot add duration days so this should add a random day and add the data in the database whenever I tap save 
so let me tap save it's increasing even though date is random now if we go to history we have may 16 may 17 17 19 so we have different dates and they are ordered randomly however what we want is we want this data to be ordered by our date and time as well as only get the data for particular date we are viewing so let us modify our get index function this should accept the date for which we are going to get index date which is option also by default we can just use date as today's date or now not data this should be date if date is provided it should be date otherwise we use current date and we filter the data of the particular day so from will be zero so from will be the zero hour of this day whereas two will be Twenty three fifty nine fifty nine. So last hour of this day from and to now using filters, we can filter the document for this particular date. So here filters, I can pass in filters as array of strings. An array of strings as we discussed in the previous episode it should consist of attribute so attribute for us is date and then operator for us it's greater than or equal to from dot millisecond since epoch so attribute is date operator is greater than or equal to and value is the from dot millisecond since epoch and similarly date now less than or equal to dollar from dot sorry two dot millisecond since epoch. Now if I save this, I should only see the data for particular date. If we go to the history, we can see that we load data for only May the 15th. If we add new data, if it's not a particular day, See, it's reset. So we'll only see the data for this particular date. Next, we also want to order data in descending order of the date. So we can do that by passing order field. Order field, order field should be date order type should be dot descending now if we go back and come here this should be ordered in descending order so 643 pm 640 640 and then 35 and then 635 and 112 pm using the order field and order type we can order our data in particular order this is how we can filter and order our data using list documents features. This is all about limiting, paginating, filtering and ordering our data using AppRights API. Thank you for watching this tutorial. See you again in the next episode.